Hello friends. I'm just leaving work and the sunset is so pretty. I love that, especially because it's just that little bit of time before the sun goes down that's just like the perfect beautiful sky. The golden hour is what they call it, I think. I'm pleased to be going home though because I have a bunch more stuff that I want to accomplish before I go to bed tonight. Well, I have to get some vlogs out today since I've been kind of neglecting that. A skosh. See, look at how lovely this is. What a great skyline, right? Wow, I just stared at the screen thinking I was filming for the last five minutes. <laughs> um, and I just had some revelations and all that. Hate it when I miss those. Mm. But I've been pretty productive today. I did a vlog, almost two vlogs. Hey, which was really good for me right now, apparently. I cleared out my family's storage room and organized some of my costumes so that they'd fit in the area that they're all stored right now. I discovered just how much stuff my mom has, which is more than I thought. I thought we had other things in the storage room, but it, as it turns out, no. Not at all. It's mostly just her stuff. So I had kind of an epiphany when I was editing the last video. I have been tidying up everything in the house and everything in my life because I have been so scattered that I haven't been able to even focus on editing a video. Not even sitting down for 10 minutes a day and editing my daily vlog. It takes a little more than 10 minutes, but you get the idea. I can't even dedicate 10 minutes to something because I'm so scattered and all over the place. What is going on? That's one of the reasons I've been pretty much just vlogging about cleaning everything lately because that's all I've been doing because I don't see a way that I can keep up doing all of the things that I want to be doing. Back in the day, when I started season three, I was putting out eight videos a week very regularly. I, I didn't really miss anything. That was such a cool time. I mean, work wasn't nearly as stressful back then, and I think that is a huge factor in it, and I'll talk about work in a little bit. For the last year and a half, work has gotten more complex because we've gotten different grant deliverables. We've We've doubled our staff size or more and we just have so many more responsibilities so I'm always thinking about it it's always kind of in the back of my mind and it's not that I take my work home with me it's just that I focus so much at work making sure I have all the scheduling done and all of that 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 kind of replaced my motivation for all my videos I'm kind of realizing and that sucks because my videos are something that I'm passionate about and that I really enjoy. It used to get me up in the morning was making videos. I loved it so much. That's why I still always jump on the opportunity to help somebody else with their videos in real life. Because if somebody wants me to, you know, have them on my channel or something, it's not plausible right now. But I am still trying. I mean, that's why I keep on putting out daily vlogs because that keeps me at least somewhat connected to everything and it is a daily reminder that I do still love YouTube. I just do still work on it and make sure that I'm producing something at least. Even though daily vlogging isn't necessarily very creative, it's just talking at my phone for a little bit. Whenever I have the opportunity, I catch up on comments and everything. But I'm not doing my super fun creative stuff that I used to get so much joy out of. Oh hell, it's already. It's one, two, three, four. Hey, in the morning. <laughs> make a wish. Mm, I wish I could start getting back into YouTube in a bigger and more fabulous way. Hey, I feel like that was a pretty good wish. It's just been such an adventure. Uh, that's kind of where I am with my videos right now. I'm just in this limbo of, do I have time to be a YouTuber anymore? More than daily vlogging. Because that's the stuff that I really loved. I like daily vlogging just because it reminds me of what I did because otherwise I forget everything. And so if I get a visual reminder of, oh yeah, all that shit happened, then I'm much more likely to remember it. I'm wondering if I should have, uh, even try to keep up with my main channel anymore. And that's a really heartbreaking thing to say. <laughs> I'm just not sure that I have time because I'm adulting so hard. Anyway, another big thing that I've been putting off talking about just because I wanted to kind of dedicate a vlog to talking about it, but there's no reason to because it's daily vlogging. I'm supposed to vlog what's happening in the day. There's a lot of changes happening at work. So I'm getting a new boss because my old boss is going into part-time and I'm thrilled 
about the change because the new boss, he has been working with us for a few months now and he has a lot of really great ideas and he's open to a lot of suggestions. So it'll really open up what we can do creatively at work. And also it'll be a lot more organized, I think. And as well, you know, from the six minute rant that I've already given you right here, I really love it when things are organized. Things are going to be changing at work. I might be doing some more social media and marketing stuff. I'll probably be changing programs because right now my primary program that I was actually hired on to be doing three years ago is healthy relationships. So I teach people how to communicate more effectively and maintain healthier relationships and healthier lifestyles. Though I know the curriculum frontwards and backwards. I don't need to look at it anymore because obviously I've been doing it for a long time. I am going to be stepping away from that program, still facilitating it, but not doing all of the coordination aspects of it. And I'm going to be doing more with a different program instead because that program needs a lot of love. In the last three months, everything feels like it has changed. Not only did I move back in with my family, I also moved the organization where I work. The actual physical location is different. Also, I'm switching positions in my location. My boss is changing. Almost like I have a new job and a new house. I'm not going out anymore because because I live so far away from downtown now. Everything is changing and it's a lot going on. And all of this <laughs> in the midst of me trying to declutter my life and do things differently than before and also try to maintain what I had before with my videos. What it really comes down to is just life is relentlessly ongoing and it's not gonna stop for me or anybody and it's just going to keep persisting. You either need to change with it and thrive with that change or you'll get so stuck and bogged down. And that's what I've been really trying to get at with all of this is I'm wondering where I'm stuck and I need to figure out how I can get past that clog, so to speak. Just like the bathroom earlier this week, unclogging that thing. What is that thing in my life that's that's making everything else overflow and get crazy? It's been a lot. I've been doing a lot of soul searching off camera, believe it or not. And a lot of it has had to do with just cleaning. How boring is that? This is going to be such a long vlog. Thanks for bearing with me. <laughs> I already kind of have everything planned out about how I'm going to achieve this. I'll let you guys in a little bit more about when things are happening, what's going on. I watched some TED Talks last night as I was cleaning and that helps center me a little bit more because it gives me some new ideas, some fresh perspectives on how I can better my life by just changing small things. Like not feeling embarrassed to vlog, for example. The vlog has changed a lot in the last two years and a lot of that has to do with me getting so used to vlogging at home that I just kind of stuck with that and I stopped vlogging when I was out and about. So I'm going to start vlogging when it's maybe not as comfortable for me. I always ask people, do you mind if I vlog before I start vlogging so that I'm not being rude in the situation and maybe I still am I hope I'm not but that's the goal that's another big step that I'm doing just trying to change change things make things better because I've noticed a quality decline in vlogs in videos in just my general lifestyle question of the day when you feel like you've lost direction what do you do to get yourself back on track again I already have an idea of what I'm doing but I want to know how you guys do that sort of thing so let me know that in the comments down below and I need to go to bed it's almost one in the morning and I've been going to bed at two or later lately so now's the time so I hope you guys had a wonderful night, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Wink!